What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. In today's video, we're going to be showing a little bit of love for Notion. For any of you who are unaware, Notion is a notation software. It's owned by Personas, and it just happens to integrate really, really well with Studio One. So when you're working with certain genres of music or in certain departments of music, I guess, whether you're in maybe music education or if you're working in the music department of a church, there's something called lead sheets, and it's basically sheet music. Now, lead sheets are created using notation software. And for people who are used to doing with that, it's a pretty straightforward thing. But for people like me who studied music but don't really keep up with my theory and reading sheet music or I don't even play an instrument anymore really, the whole concept of creating lead sheets is much easier for me to visualize when working in a DAW. And it just so happens that when you're working with Studio One, you can actually do all of your work in your DAW and then send a lead sheet over to Notion pretty much in seconds. So I've got a song over here that I've laid out. It's a basic scratch track with some pre-production, a couple things to make note of. I have chord track information for all of these sections over here. This is all laid out. I'm using a ranger blocks. I'm also using some markers. In addition to that, I've also set the key and I've set the BPM or the tempo of this song. Now, once you've done that, it's super simple. I'm gonna create a blank instrument track. And for now, let's just name this piano. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to extend the range, the loop range or the cycle range so that it's the full duration of the song. Let's double click to create a blank instrument part. Double click again to open the editor and let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to drop in one note. That's all I have to do. Let's close the editor. And now I already have Notion open in the background over here, but let's go back to Studio One and I'm going to go song and send to Notion. Now here we're going to send on this computer, send note data of the entire song, or it could be the selected track, and then create lead sheet. This is the main thing. As long as you have chord track information and the key signature and one instrument part with even one MIDI note in it, we can send this over to Notion and it's going to create a basic lead sheet. So here we have the name, we have the time signature, we have a grand staff because I put piano in there. We have all the chords over top of all the bars or measures. And then we have all of the markers in Studio One indicated at the proper point over here. So there is a basic lead sheet that we just sent over from Studio One in no time. Now from here, we can go to File, Print, and then we have this option where we could basically open this as a preview. And then I could send this digitally or I could print this out. Now, for anybody who's worked in notation software or understands the way lead sheets work, you'll note that this isn't perfect formatting. This is a long way of doing this. When you're working with notation software, they have certain symbols that they use or a way to say, hey, instead of playing this, you know, four times and taking up this much space, they have a way that's indicated that will basically say repeat it a certain amount of time. And then after you're done, go to this part. And then the second time after you repeat it again, go to this part. So they have a way that could take, you know, five sheets of music and put it into two or three. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely a really quick way, a quick and dirty way to get a lead sheet sent out. Now, before we go, I want to show you one more thing. And this is kind of going into getting a little bit more complicated, but this is a really, really good way to use some hacks and some of the workflow in Studio One to get a more detailed lead sheet if and when you need it. Okay, so first, let's start with the piano. So we have our chord track over here. We have an instrument part. First thing I'm going to do is open up my browser and let's head over to Presence and I'm gonna to navigate to Acoustic Piano Battle. Let's just drop this on this track. So now we have an actual virtual instrument that's triggering a sound. Now, what I'm going to do is let's open this up in the editor. We'll go back to the very beginning over here. And I want to take this and basically I want to create a basic C major chord. So this one and this one over here. Now here, I'm just going to drag all three of these out so that they are exactly one bar. Okay, so now with these highlighted, I'm just going to keep duplicating pretty much until I get to the very end of this instrument part, and you'll see why in a moment. So we'll do a couple more. Okay, so that should do it. In general, you're looking at one chord per bar here. So this will be enough information for what we need to do. So now we have our blank instrument part with a C chord on every bar. 
we've got our chord track. So if we open up the inspector with the piano track selected and we go to parallel, you'll notice that this now has chords embedded. So let's go back to the very beginning. And if I take this off, they all snap back to C major. So let's leave this on. Now, the one thing I need to do is I need to actually render these chords into the instrument part because right now it's responding to the chord track and that's non-destructive. So in order to do that, we are going to double click. We will choose action. We want to head to pitch and we want to freeze pitch. Now let's close this. Now watch this. If I take the follow mode off, the chord track icon is gone, but you can see here that the chords have actually been embedded in there. So let's turn, turn this to off and we can actually turn this back on for now. So now we've got our piano taken care of. Now, the second thing I want to take care of is I have this melody that was basically given to me by the client, and then I kind of just cut it up and used some slip editing to put it on the grid, or at least put it in time. But this is going to be replaced later. But from this, I can actually get the MIDI information that I need by using a hack in Melodyne. So let's turn this back into an instrument part, and I'm going to actually render a new file. So let's use export mixdown. And now I've rendered a brand new file and we are going to take that and use command M to send it over to Melodyne. So it's done a polyphonic detection over here and I want this to be melodic actually. So we will redetect. Now if I play this, okay, so first things first, I'm gonna just select everything and we can just snap this so that it's perfectly pitch corrected. But I don't actually need to do anything else because what I want to do is I want to borrow this MIDI that was generated by Melodyne to basically plug that into a virtual instrument. So now I'm gonna navigate up here and let's choose Nylon Guitar Full and let's drag and drop this right underneath. Okay, so now I have an instrument that's generating a Nylon Guitar sound. First things first, I'm gonna name this Nylon Guitar and let's just drag and drop this audio event down here and you'll see that it just borrows the MIDI. So now I've got the MIDI and if I were to play this right now, let me just solo out the nylon guitar. We'll double click to open the editor. Okay, now for lots of reasons, we're gonna have to clean up this MIDI. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything and with the 16th note selected, let's just quantize everything to a 16th note. That should be a good starting point. And let's have a listen. Okay, now I can tell that there's some notes that are overlapping. So I'm gonna bring up my uh, adjust length shortcut and let's go with overlap correction and that will kill any overlaps. Now let's have a listen. Okay, now with these notes all still selected, Option or Alt T to bring up my transform, and let's drag the volume up so we're kind of compressing this. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. These two sound like they're an octave wrong. Okay, these two, we'll bring those up as well. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so this one, I wanna get rid of this and let's make this butt up against here. Now, these guys look pretty good. Let's listen from here. This one I'm gonna get rid of and this one, we will butt this up against here. Now, all these over here, I want to make them all legato. So we'll choose a legato option, that's good. And let's use do the same here just so that they're kind of butting up against each other and we don't have any dead air. Uh, these ones too, we'll make these legato. There is a macro that allows you to do this a little bit easier, but that's okay. I'll just do this for now because I'm used to it. Okay, so I think this should sound pretty good. Let's have a quick listen. And with our piano. Okay, so good, we're in good shape. So now what I wanna do, I have this C major chord, which is at the very beginning of here, and this is actually my pre-count, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. So now we have everything that we basically need, and what I might consider doing is, let's hide and disable this. 
This one over here, I'm gonna double this and then let's select both of these, we'll glue them together. And then just alter option dragging this to the sections where I want this melody to play, which is essentially all the A sections here. And then last but not least, let's glue this or merge this into one instrument part. So now we used the chord track to set our piano chords. We were able to do that very quickly. We then freeze the pitch so that it rendered those chords into the instrument part. We renamed it piano. We used mix down selection to basically create a new contiguous audio event. We melodyned that. We borrowed the MIDI from that. We cleaned it up. We made it work. We have our chord track information up top. We have the key of the song. We have the BPM of the song. We now have a nylon guitar part and a piano part. Let's do the same thing we just did. We're gonna to send to Notion. I'm gonna choose note data of the entire song, this computer. Let's create a lead sheet and we'll click send. Now we have the full song. This is now displayed. We have our nylon guitar. We have a key signature, BPM, the title. We have all of our markers from Studio One. We have the guitar is in, we have the notes and we have the tab. We have the piano chords, the piano is in grand staff. We have all the information that we need to generate an accurate lead sheet. And this could be further edited by somebody if they wanted to edit the formatting for this to be perfect. Now I can go to score, I can either view full score or I could view just a nylon guitar or I could go to dynamic parts and view just a piano. It's really up to you. So I'm gonna go back to the full score over here. And then like I said, we've got a couple different options at that point. Uh, the easiest way is to go to file and print. You could get yourself a digital copy, open in PDF preview. We have all the pages here. Uh, and then we could print that out if we needed. And another thing that we could do is we could go to in Notion file can use this option here and this would actually export um let's just put this in songs for now uh we'll leave this exactly titled as is c minor song notion lead sheets actually before i do that let me turn down the mixer because it's usually pretty loud i'll turn down the master a little bit and i'll turn down the reverb i don't have the notions audio output set up right now so we couldn't hear that but now we have export for smp press and let's put this in our songs folder and we'll click save. And this is going to generate a bounce in terms of the actual audio. And it will also generate a PDF score. So this is something that can be shared. Now, if I open up a finder window here and we navigate to our songs, where was it? So we have the C minor lead sheet. So here it is exactly as planned and and this is the uh the full score with the nylon guitar and the piano like i said all the information is there and in addition to that we also have let me change my playback to the quantum we also have this over here which is a basic mp3 preview And this was generated by the actual built-in sounds of Notion. And because we used uh, notation software friendly names, nylon guitar and piano, that, that carried over and Notion basically loaded its own songs just by the names that we used. So two different workflows. One of them is super quick, gets you a quick and dirty lead sheet. You can do all your work in Studio One and get your lead sheet sent over to notation software, do any further formatting there. The second workflow is we can do a little bit of work in Studio One, use some hacks like the chord track, the follow chord mode, freezing the pitch and Melodyne to borrow some of those melody lines and then just get everything set up and you have lead sheets that were created in Studio One sent over to Notion. And then I could hand this off to somebody who knows how to work in notation software better and say, hey, could you format that for me? Or like I said, I could export a digital PDF or print out old school sheet music if need be. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.